Hi P3, we are reading chapter 7 this week. Um, it's called Problems. Remember chapter 6, uh, Alan wanted a to prove to Miss Green and his parents that he is telling the truth. So he went and talked to the newspaper. They published his story on one of the newspaper features. His parents were not happy about that. He still hasn't heard from Miss Green. Remember, Miss Green kicked him out of class and told him not to come back until he was in normal color. So let's see what is going to happen. Is Alan going to keep doing his project? Is he going to just do the lipstick like Miss Green and his parents said? So let's see what Alan is going to do. All right, we, I am going to start the chapter. Let me just press resume. Problems. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't go to school because I was still green. I couldn't go downstairs to breakfast because I couldn't eat. So I did the only thing I could do. I stayed in bed. And I don't mean for just a few hours. I stayed in bed for a whole week. Mom thought I was just sick, so she'd bring me my meals on a tray, which I would turn, which I would in turn give to Waffle and Lamb Chop as soon as she left the room. Peggy Applegate, who lives two houses away, brought me my homework so I didn't fall behind in my studies. I had moved my bed over next to the window so that I would get plenty of sunlight. So imagine being in bed for a whole week because you're trying to avoid school and you don't want your parents to see you eat. Wow, that must be tough. I had it made, that is, until the storm. It rained for four days and four nights on the morning of the fifth day. I woke up to find that I was so weak, I couldn't move. I was totally without energy. Something was terribly wrong, and I knew exactly what it was. I needed sunlight. I was going to die without it. I can see you are getting better, said my mother walking into the room with a bowl of chicken soup. Why is that, Mom? I asked, barely able to speak. You don't look as green as you did yesterday. I don't. The doctor said it would go away. See, you are a boy after all, not a plant. Wrong, I thought to myself. I was obviously an outdoor plant, not an indoor plant. Mom, I struggle to speak. What's the weatherman say? More rain could last another week. Oh, great, I thought. I'll end up like that plant we had in the hallway. It turned yellow and then got droopy and died. I didn't want to die. I wasn't even a teenager yet. But what could I do? I couldn't go to the grocery store and buy a quart of sunlight like you could milk. And then I thought of something. It was a long shot. But what did I have to lose? Would you bring my lamp, my desk lamp over here? I asked my mom. Would you like a book too? No, yes. I didn't have the energy to explain. I felt myself getting real weak now. My mother brought over the lamp and plugged it in. Is this book all right, dear? Turn it on, I whispered. What was that, honey? I was too weak to repeat what I had just, what I had said. Sorry, guys, I keep trying to add words. I need to keep following it along. <laughs> I felt my eyes close and then everything went black. I don't know how long I was out, but when I awoke, there was a bright light shining in my face. I felt better. 
a lot better. The desk lamp had saved my life. There was a knock on the door. Alan, okay to come in? Sure, Grandpa, I said sitting up in bed. Grandpa came in carrying the portable television set from his room. Thought you might like to watch the tube with me. So I'm just wondering who turned on the lamp unless his mom turned on the lamp as she was leaving. Who knows? Because she he couldn't repeat himself unless maybe he his mom did hear him and turned on the lamp. And he actually ended up falling asleep through it. And then now he has the energy to get up because of the lamp warming him up. Do you know of any other things that survive with a light from a lamp? Like, Can you think of an animal that is, say, in a container? Not container, but uh, not a, a fish bowl, but... Can you think of animals that do survive with sunlight or that need that sunlight to survive? So think about that and then tell me what you think. You can email me or uh, when we talk on Monday, you can tell me about it. So think about an animal or even possibly, do you know of any plants that do not need sunlight but only need water? So think about that too. So I wonder what the tube is that his uh, grandpa wants him to watch with him. What's on? A monster movie? Grandpa says he doesn't get scared if I watch them with him. Something about a giant cucumber that terrorizes a town? Great! Grandpa put the TV on my desk. He started to bend over and plug it in. I got it, I said, jumping out of bed. I climbed under my desk and put the plug into the outlet. You seem better, he said. Your green color is coming back. But I don't like those green dots all over your face. Grandpa put his face real close to mine. What green dots? Do you mean mites? No, said Grandpa. These look more like aphids. My peach trees got them too. So that word might look um, a little confusing. So I don't even know what it is. <laughs> but I'm looking at this word. And if you see it, you can see that there's an A in the beginning. Then there's the PH. What sound does PH make together? Remember, PH is a diagraph. So PH, remember, makes the sound. Yes, the sound. So if you're saying the F. It makes the f sound if, when it's together. Then I-D-S. So if we were to say it in a short vowel way, so let's see, a fits, or is it a fides? I don't know. I need to look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's a fids. I think it's more of the short vowel. See, this is why it's okay to not recognize words, and you can try to sound it out in different ways. So if we want to do it the short vowel way, remember it's aphids. Then if we want to do it the long vowel way, we can say aphids. Well, in that case, I did the long A, and then I did the diagraph, and then the short vowel I did at the end. So I did aphids, aphids, or aphids. So <laughs> let's see what it is. I'm going to look it up later so that um, we can say it together. So there's like three different pronunciations that I could think about, but you never know. My peach trees got them too. I don't want any bugs on me, Grandpa. I was real scared. I started brushing them off my face with my hands, and then I saw them all over my arms, and I started brushing my arms too. Help me, Grandpa. Help me. Now, just hold your horses. I'll go get the sprayer. When Grandpa returned with the sprayer, he had me stand in the shower. So it's a picture of um, Grandpa spraying Alan. I don't know why my computer didn't upload it, but it's okay. Now, keep your eyes shut real tight, he told me. And don't breathe. Hurry, Grandpa. I can feel them crawling all over me. Grandpa sprayed me real well. I showered up right afterwards. The aphids were gone. 
Good riddance. How come no one but you believes I'm a plant? I asked Grandpa as we sat down to watch the movie. That's easy to explain, he said, turning on the television. Grandpa had an answer for everything. Remember the story I told you about the cheese sandwich and the vat of gold? Yes. Now, if the worker had walked up to his boss one day and told him to add a cheese sandwich to the gold, what do you think his boss would have said? He would have said he was crazy? Why? Because he didn't understand? Right! So, how do we make people understand, Grandpa? That's the secret, Alan. You don't make them understand. What? You tell them. I don't understand. Grandpa went over to my bookcase and returned with one of my encyclopedia volumes. You believe what's in here, don't you? Yes. Without question. Without proof. Yes. Why? Because it wouldn't be in there if it weren't the truth. Why? Because it's the encyclopedia. And an encyclopedia is respected for telling the truth. So we believe it. That's right, Alan. And the person who wrote about me in the newspaper wasn't respected for telling the truth. So no one believed him even though what he wrote was the truth. Right again, Alan. So all I need to do is find someone who everyone respects and have that person say that I'm a plant. Then everyone will believe me. Right, a third time, said Grandpa, swinging him his arm in the air. But where am I going to find such a person? Grandpa looked sad. I don't know. Yeah, I can't get Ah, sorry guys, you'll probably hear. It's fine. Here's the case. Take both. Take both. Swinging his arm in the air. But where am I going to find such a person? Grandpa looks sad. I don't know. We both sat there in silence for a moment. Then we turned to the television. And there, on the news, was the President of the United States. He was giving a speech on the steps of the city hall building in town. Grandpa and I slowly turned our heads and looked at each other. So you guys, what do you think is going to happen? They are looking at each other. They're also looking at the television that has the president that's on the steps of their city. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? I know you can think about it. Yes! They are going to tell the president. Do you think the president is going to believe Alan? Do you think he could get so close to the president and tell him, hey, I'm a plant. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, if you have any questions about this chapter, please let me know. The worksheet with the questions is online. And I also have it here. Why did Alan stay in bed for a week? So I remember, why did he stay in bed for a week? Why did Alan think he was getting weaker? How did he solve this problem? Why was Grandpa worried about how Alan looked? How did Grandpa solve this problem? After talking with Grandpa, why did Alan realize that no one believed him? Who do you think Alan will find to tell everyone about his discovery and why? All right, P3, I hope you have a nice week. Sorry for all the interruptions. I will talk to you on Monday. Have a great week. Also, don't forget, it's Mother's Day this Sunday coming up. So if I were you, I would make a card or something really nice for mom. Maybe clean up something that you normally wouldn't clean up. Of course, ask another adult if you can... Um, do so. All right. Bye, P3.